So you just got a new phone and it says IP67 water resistance. What does that even mean? Hey everybody, Jeremy with Detroit Tech. Have you ever dropped your phone in some water and like completely destroyed it? <laughs> I know Corey has, except it was more of a like going in the hot tub with your phone in your pocket kind of thing. Also a pool, maybe a lake. Anyway, after that, did you ever like call the manufacturer to complain and they told you it was only IPX2? What does that even mean? First, what does the IP stand for? You'll see either international protection or ingress protection. Pretty simple, an international identifier for how hard it is for stuff to get into your device. Now, I don't wanna just read off like a bunch of different number values and the description and all that. So check down below and we'll have like a list of all the different numbers and what they actually mean. There are two factors to it. One is the water resistance proofing of the device. The other is the dust resistance. Now, as great as it would be, if it were as simple as just the bigger the number, the better the protection, it's really not quite that simple. There are a couple ways you'll see an IP rating. IPX and then a number, or sometimes IP and then two numbers. Even possibly IP and then a number and then an X, whatever. That's not very often. The first number, or X, is the amount of dust protection the device has. For example, IP4X would mean the device will keep out most wires, slender screws, large ants, etc., but does not have a formalized rating for water protection. That's like what the actual thing says, it's ridiculous. And you probably guessed that the second space after the IP is the water resistance. So when you see the latest phone tout an IPX7 rating, that means the phone is protected from water when immersed up to one meter, but has no formalized dust protection. In fact, the device is probably pretty well protected from dust particles considering water won't be able to get in, but again, it's just not formalized. There is an interesting caveat here, however. An IPX6 rating gives the device protection from jets of water, specifically water projected from powerful jets with a 12.5 millimeter nozzle. But once you get to IPX7, there is no cumulative effect. The phone, for example, can be immersed in water up to one meter, but may not necessarily be protected from jets of water. It doesn't mean it won't be, it just, again, doesn't have to, have to be to be rated IPX7. Again, I'll put a full list of each rating, both dust and water, in the description below for you to peruse. So as far as what you should be looking for on your phone, a lot of devices are gonna be IP67. When you get to the high-end ones, like the Samsung Galaxy S8, for example, that's gonna be IP68. When you look at the iPhones, they have IP67. Either way, you'll generally be pretty safe if you take your phone into the pool, look at you, Corey, or the hot tub or get some water on it, you'll be fine either way. So thanks for watching everybody. If this video has helped you navigate the kind of confusing IP ratings, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. If you already knew all of this, and I mean, really I'm surprised you're still here. We'll catch you in the next one.